What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. At the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Came across this clip by a content creator named Love Dorsey. Some of y'all may be familiar with her. She's been around the scene for a few years now. And I know one of my best friends is a fan of hers as well. Um, she tends to be a little bit more balanced as far as holding both genders accountable, which I don't have an issue with, but I'm pretty sure, you know, others out there might consider her a grifter or, you know, everybody's going to have their own opinion about her, but I actually appreciate where she's coming from. Now, just to warn you, she does use quite a bit of profanity. I'll try my best to try to bleep out the N-words because... I know somebody gave me a hard time for not bleeping it out one time before, which which is pretty damn petty to the person that was doing that. But I'll, I'll try my best to do that, man. But, you know, I need to understand that that stuff actually does take is pretty time consuming. It takes up time, but I'll do my best. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Y'all done got so bad. Y'all dress it up. And I, I told y'all just the other night. Bro, we is not in them times no more where you, you it, it's not realistic, right? Unless you in the motherfucking 1% on this motherfucker where, or, or the, I even give y'all 5% where your earnings is so high that you can afford to be with a motherfucker that don't put no effort into the forward progress or the advancement of the family. They could just lay up and spend money. Bro, you need a partner that could beat their feet next to yours because you need the motherfuckers beaten as a man in 2023 bro you got to get up every day and get it i'm gonna tell y'all something else when and, and a lot of women that, done, that be it one-on-ones with me they'll tell y'all bro you got to have some sort of purpose that don't got nothing to do with a bitch or chasing no dollars some sort of thing that has to do with this is the image or what i want for myself right it might cost some money to get it you might need a wife or a teammate to continue to aggressively go after it, but it has to be something that you as the individual, you want for yourself. Y'all should be waking up working out. Y'all should be watching y'all diet and what you put in your body. Y'all should be sitting down evaluating your goals time you get up. There needs to be at least an hour in the morning where you don't touch this motherfucking app because you're supposed to be the leaders, the leaders in the relationship. You ain't supposed to wake up and jump right on Facebook or Instagram. Your ass supposed to wake up and sit in your thoughts of what you finna do as a man. Men can't afford to sit the fuck around. But see, when you was raised by them single mama minded mentality ass hoes, right? You will believe that you moving the same way bitches be moving is okay. That's not how this shit go. Facts. All right, I want to chime in on this part because I think this is very important. See, this is one of the reasons why men don't want to date with single moms. Notice that she mentioned the reason why these men are out here thinking they can move like that is because of single moms. See, this is why making sure the father stays in these kids' lives, whether y'all work out or not, is so important. Especially when it comes to men, because men need to understand that they can't move the same way a woman does. Women need to understand that they can't move the same way a man does. Yeah, together we're great, but we're still different, whether we together or apart. That doesn't change anything. That's why when people want to sit over here and say and fight for equality, we're never going to be equal. That's a bunch of BS. So let's cut that out. But I, I really think that's a, a lot of men who think like that. It's because they generally come from single mother households. And they've been brainwashed and brought up to think and move a certain sort of way. Meanwhile, they invest all their time into the daughters. And the daughters are outmaneuvering and outpacing the men. Why? Because of single motherhood. It's almost as if like they're purposely holding the men back instead of the women because of their favoritism towards their own gender. But y'all want to sit over here and complain about men not being good enough. 
but y'all gotta keep in mind that women are very very influential yeah you know i mean they're, they're sharp with their words for a reason because they can't outfit they can't out physical men so they have to be sharp with their tongues aka be influential all right let's keep it moving and if you ain't got no bitch around you that's pouring positivity into you bro you got to get up out of there you got to get the fuck up out of there From me to y'all, a lot of y'all, bro, just check your reputation. Don't go off of what I'm saying. Sit back and look at the decisions you've made, how your life look, the type of women you've been dealing with, the type of men that you've been attracting around you, and ask yourself, bro, am I proud of this? If I had to stand up in a room full of people and talk about these decisions and this shit I got going on, is it something that, as a man, I'm proud of? Bro, if you can't say that, you should be beating your feet every day. Trying to do better, trying to move better, and oh, watch that influence. Because the bitches you lay down with, sir, they do influence you. No matter what you get on the internet and tell these bird brain ass bitches, Love Dorsey no different. Just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. Teach your sons, tell your homeboy. Talk to your daddy if he don't know. Talk to your uncle, your bitch. And a lot of y'all that keep a bunch of niggas around, this is the type of shit that y'all should be talking about. Wake up worrying about the wrong shit, and this app will keep you worrying about that shit. It will keep you worrying about that shit to the point where you will realize after a while, I don't even really know how to thank for myself. And process what I want to do. Can't really make decisions afraid. Oh, watch this. Fear will take the fuck over. Fear will take the fuck over. To where not everything you do is based on fear of a certain outcome. But men supposed to be willing to take risks. Well before women. Men supposed to be willing to step out and stand on decisions they made. And a bitch that's for them will be alongside them to support, to be counsel, to add some positivity, a helpmate. These bitches y'all got a hate mate. Y'all why these bitches be manipulating the fuck out of y'all. Manipulating the fuck out of y'all. We're very influential as females. Some stuff, it requires you to get vulnerable in conversation and maneuvering through life around other men that are trying to move forward in life. Like somebody just coming, y'all sit up and tell a bitch everything. And one thing about women, we gon' use that shit. Yes, boom, it be a hate mate. It don't be no motherfucking help, mate. Biggest hater be the bitch laying next to you. Because nowadays, the way that the culture is with women, and y'all know I'm out here every day pushing for a bitch to look at shit different. The way the culture be, it's a flex to fuck another bitch man. So watch this. Ooh, watch this. Pay attention. You got to pay attention now. It's a flex to fuck another bitch man to a good majority of these females out here. Because females know that. A lot of females that got a man. Ooh, watch this. I'm a hate mate because I don't really want to see my go up like he really could. Ooh, know why? Because I know that it's a flex for bitches to fuck somebody else's man. So if you go up too high, you end up getting closer and closer to that percent of a valuable man when we talk about finances or stability and now I got to worry about one of these bitches that know or that's out here active knowing it's a flex to fuck another bitch man so guess what I really don't want to see you accomplish too much like you do enough to be able to keep me comfortable and pay bills but bitch I don't really want to see you go up too much because the culture with most of these women is it ain't enough good men out here for the amount of women so if i have to take me a bitch man i'll do that so really my trust 
and my mistrust is not necessarily for you. It's for the fact that I know what a bitch will do. Because I'm a bitch. And even though I might not do it, I know what the fuck women own. I know what we're talking about in the hair salons and in the nail shops and everywhere. I know what the fuck going on. So you know what? I'd rather my stay on this level right here. I don't need him getting too big or being outside too much or accomplishing too much. Because then it's going to bring on the bitches that it's their life mission to fuck somebody else's man. They talk about it every summer. They trying to be outside. They trying to fuck with a rich. So you know what? I don't want my to be a rich. So why you as the nigga praying for a blessing, a financial blessing to go up, the bitch next to you, your hate mate is praying you don't go up too far because I don't need you to outgrow the relationship or get to a point where women or a woman other than me really sees some sort of value in you. Man, it's a lot to unpack with what she just said. Um, I want to start off with the most recent part because... I think I can I can kind of sort of relate to this because when um, I first got started on my fitness journey and you know women started noticing the game started muscle started no noticing the muscle that I put on whenever I would deal with women you know once I started getting consistent I had noticed that some of the women that I dealt with they would always try to get me to not be as consistent as going to the gym and you know hey you know come over here and eat this and do this and do that and nah don't go to the gym why are you always at the gym like that right there is very similar to what she was just mentioning man see and this is one of the reasons why i like what she mentioned at the beginning of the clip is that you gotta have something for yourself you gotta have some form of a purpose even if you work in a nine to five, bro, if it's a, if, if your purpose is being in the best shape possible, you need to have that for yourself. You got to understand, man, like these women don't operate like we do. We got to have our purpose. We got to we, we like it's it's essential, man. At, at this point, I really think it is, man, because if you don't, you just kind of end up going through life, kind of going through the motions. All right. But you also got to do that because see, and here's, here's another thing that a lot of guys don't know and are unaware of and something that women won't admit. A guy that's on his purpose is on his square is always going to be more attractive because when he's in a position to where he doesn't need a woman for anything and He's looking for a woman to fit into what he's got going versus trying to adapt to what she got going. These women find that way more attractive. Trust me, they they do. I mean, it's a reason why I started getting way more attention from women once I started putting on that muscle and started they started seeing the consistency of me working on myself and not being so much worried about chasing them or what they had going on. And this is one of the reasons why I push you guys so much to get in that gym. So that way you can start seeing that same difference. Even if you are a guy that's planning on getting your passport and whatever, trust me, you get in shape, man, you're going to see a big difference no matter what part of the globe you're on. All right, let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification that we all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps to reach about the audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel on Plug Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.